Have you ever wondered if the universe wanted you here? I mean, the odds are insane. Imagine a cosmic slot machine spinning. Gravity, atoms, life, all lining up perfectly. That's the anthropic principle. The universe allows for observers, like me and you. And the math, it's wild. Let's talk fine-tuning. If you nudge the strong nuclear force by just 1%, poof, no carbon, no DNA, no life, or the cosmological constant. Change it by a decimal so tiny I'd need a thousand zeros to write it out and galaxies never form. The odds of this universe happening? 1 in 10 to the 10 to the 123. That's like hoping a monkey hammers out all of Shakespeare by accident. Maybe that's not luck. Maybe it's survivor bias, as the weak anthropic principle points out. Think trillions of universes, most duds, but in one hours, everything clicks. Like winning the lottery and calling it destiny. If string theory is right, there might be 10 to the 500 universes. One has to hit the jackpot, but why only one? Then there's the strong anthropic principle. Maybe the universe has to make life. Was it designed? Or brace yourself. Are we just characters in a simulation? If consciousness is just data, simulated minds could outnumber biological ones. Odds are, you might be an AI in a cosmic computer. Can we test any of this? Scientists hunt for multiverse fingerprints in cosmic background noise or code-like patterns in physics. But finding a failed universe? Good luck, I'm in the winning one. So are we lucky simulations or God's favorite experiment? Comment your theory and hit the like button if you hope we're not alone. Next up is the universe made of math. Remember, math isn't magic, it's everywhere.